inside the 21st century tailoring and dressmaking factory. Very few youngsters aspire to be professional tailors and dressmakers. The image of a traditional tailor and dressmaker in many people's minds is that of a miserable, lonely man or woman at the corner veranda of a shopping center operating an old sewing manual machine as he or she repairs torn clothes. Things were not made better by the advent of imported old cloth commonly known as mitumba that in many ways contributed to the killing of the textile industry in Africa. But things are changing. The tailoring and dressmaking of the 21st century is exciting and computerized. It is prestigious and white collar in the true sense of the word. We took time to visit a small tailoring and dressmaking shop in Eastlands of Nairobi. It is amazing how things have changed. Processes and functions in this small shop are automated. This small shop is capable of producing hundreds of garments in a single day. The tailors who operate these shops based along Jogo Road are doing big business. They specialize in making uniform for schools and supply most of the school uniform distributors based in our major towns. The tailors say that before they broke into the business, it was a preserve of very few cartels that protected it from competition. It is simply amazing how a small tailoring shop situated in a room that is four meters square can produce thousands of clothes in a month. Is tailoring and dressmaking profitable? Yes. One of the tailors we talked to, who opted to remain anonymous, said she makes 200,000 shillings a month. Young engineers, lawyers, teachers can only dream of such an amount. It is time for us to ban imported mitumba to grow this industry that would make Kenya an exporter of textiles. Youngsters must get interested in dressmaking and tailoring.